Hey everyone, Eric here and welcome back to another World Conqueror 2 video. So, this is part 4 of Conquer Asia 1950 as the KMT. If you haven't checked out the previous 3 parts, I recommend that you do check them out first. But anyways, in the last uh, video, we captured Chongqing and Peking back from the CCP. So, yeah, great news. And yeah, okay, uh, I need to adjust my brightness a little bit okay that should do hopefully make sure it's not too uh, bright for either me or you guys out there and so we are going to start on our I don't know what is that called um, let's see let's take that industry and yeah so let's end the turn because I have uh, done a little bit of moving as you can see in the last video and yeah so the americans are still trying to how do i put it uh attack uh the ccp without defending uh, nagasaki so yeah not that great and yeah so basically the japanese are really really in big big trouble right now if not um yeah if they are going to survive uh, that will be uh, very surprising to me because well yeah they've got a freaking heavy tank with their uh, commander and it's not that great when you uh, want to like defend and yeah but anyways let us continue and take all those pieces of land um, okay so now what we want to do is to buy one artillery and attack 53 nice let's attack the all right so let's use our heavy tank i mean uh, our tank not heavy tank if only we have a heavy tank that would be great mm, let's attack that guy attack attack okay it looks like all right, we are going to take Nanking back. Nice. So we have taken Nanking. That is very, very nice indeed. And let's finish off that guy right there. Okay. Um. Oh, that's this guy right here. Let's put him back. Okay. So now uh, we don't have to worry about anything coming from, uh, like the communists, um, to take. Taiwan because we have an infantry there uh, it's gonna give us a little bit of a um, how do I put it buy us a little bit of time yes that is the phrase to, um, yeah okay so <clears throat> yeah so uh, what I want to do now is to move on into Manchuria and Korea the Korean Peninsula and then I'm going to attack um, the Soviet forces in Japan you know hopefully things are going to go pretty pretty well hopefully keeping my fingers crossed out there and yeah so the Canadians are not doing that much you know because well, they, they have a small income and they're quite far away from the main battlegrounds so yeah it's not that uh, so the Canadians will not help maybe a, a little bit yeah but anyways let's take that guy let's okay so now we are going to attack um okay let's wait okay let's attack um north korea and yeah south korea is now currently occupied by the uh what is it called soviet union yes i i keep forgetting the names <sighs> okay, let's let's move on into North Korea, and we have to be mindful not to, you know, attack the uh, attack the Russians because you know that will not be great. So our tank here have no choice but to be, uh, but to stay in Nanking because I'm afraid that the CCP will counter attack and all that stuff. Yeah. And so, anyways, let's end up turn. Yep, the Japanese are going down, definitely. 
their fate is sealed and the Americans just landed in South Korea very nice I guess uh, whoops oh I need to uh, okay that should do and yeah so let's see yeah the CCP is definitely trying to counter attack here and the, the North Koreans are trying to attack even though we are attacking them and yeah but I'm afraid that we may not be able to concentrate our forces because we have to fight off the CCP in Shanghai and then we have to attack North Korea we yeah so uh, a bit of a poorly made decision right there to open up um, a second front against North Korea and yeah so we are round nine round 19 uh, I'm not sure why I can't speak right there so anyways we have a little bit of an issue right here because they can put an in infantry there and as I said uh, even when I'm doing America I don't want to like uh, bother the Soviets first I want to leave them alone you know and yeah so let's attack attack and attack okay so now this guy here will be quite um, what are you kidding me let's attack and take that city from them nice and yeah the CCP um, still have Shanghai so um, what I'm going to do here is to right so let's move in and take that city right there to prevent them from you know yeah um, like putting any forces there so let's attack boom Shanghai is ours so that would be great so now we control much of China uh, except for Manchuria Manchuria is still um, in the hands of the CCP which we will need to take back it's relatively poorly defended and you can see that that um, Rokosovsky right there in Japan not um, not having a hard time so that would be bad news and yeah so we need to hurry up okay never mind a bit too late sit that a bit too late and yeah okay so let's see the the British army um, quite okay I guess but um, yeah. even though they have a uh, the British have a lot of forces and uh, the army is okay they're not gonna help because you know once they get here yeah they're just not gonna get there so hmm, let's move here and here okay this guy can heal and let's move here okay so now we control the Korean Peninsula and okay there's the rocket launcher there and let's see okay we want to take all those industries so the CCP can only rely on this guy right here. Hopefully they're not going to put anything there because we will be in major trouble if that happens. And industry. Okay. So we are going to attack it using this guy. Boom. Well, not that great. Not that great. So now we want to, um, we need to, how do I put it, um, invade the USSR as early as possible. If not, we will be on the disadvantage right there. And that would not be nice, isn't it? So, yeah. Let's move this guy here and attack that. Attack. Alright. Nice. So, <clears throat> okay. So this uh level one city right there, not, uh, we're not gonna do anything. 
and okay. So you can see that the Soviets now bought a ton of forces in Japan, and that would not be great because it's gonna uh, make us have a hard time trying to invade and secure the uh, the Japanese home islands. And yeah, it's not gonna be that great. Yeah, and the CCP is trying a counter attack. So just let's show enemies what we are capable of. That's what I want to say. But yeah. Anyways, the Japanese uh, just bought an infantry. I saw that, <laughs> but it's not gonna help. You no, know, Japan is still gonna get overrun. So what we can do now is to. Okay, this guy has to retreat. Mm, attack that. And then we are going to. Let's see, let's attack that guy. So we are going to move um, the bulk of our forces to the Korean Peninsula. And let's take the airport in case they want to uh, launch an airstrike on us and try to be funny. And this guy here, this guy come here. Alright, so now what we can do is to buy an airport and land somewhere there. Then we can um, launch an attack on the, the, what is it called? The, the Soviet Union. Yes, I keep forgetting the name. I don't know why, but anyways, this is not going to be enough. So let's move that uh, so now we've got this city right there. Um, hopefully we can stop the... Nope, not what I wanted to do. Dang it. Um, yeah, we're out. We can't take Tokyo in this turn, but our forces, I'm not sure if they're going to get overrun. I'm, I'm just hoping that they don't, because, you know, that would be uh, not that great. So, oh, the time is almost up. So... I'm going to end the video right here. If you enjoyed it, please do remember to leave a like. And as always, if you're new to this channel, please do remember to subscribe. And yeah, that's about it. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Oh, whoops, whoops. Have a nice day. And of course, goodbye.